Hello all, welcome to Excel Academy. So once again, we are back with another good video based upon circuits and controls. Fine. So in the case of circuits and controls, we are once again back with uh, superposition theorem problem. Okay. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I just told you that we have a problem based on uh, find the voltage Vx uh, using superposition theorem. So this is what is the problem. This is my problem number. Just a minute. I'm so sorry. So sorry students, yeah, I'll be back with this, okay, yeah. So this is what is my find the voltage Vx using superposition theorem. So the question I have ticked is 3B question, okay. So according to this 3B question, we are going to find out the voltage Vx using superposition theorem. So you can see that whereas Vx is present, Vx is present in what I can say this one, which one here. So Vx is present here, that is it is present downwards the 20 O, right. So we are supposed to find out that, okay. So let's start doing that, okay. So I guess you got to see the question. So we are going to solve this particular question right away, right. Yes. And if you want more and more videos like this, so please do like, share and subscribe and share it to many more who are in need and please do press the bell icon to get more and more updates on our channel and we are also working upon the question paper series also so if i find any question paper question uh, answer so i'm going to do directly there away or else if anything is pending we are going to have a separate session for that fine so we are trying to help you out in many ways by telling you how the question paper is coming for our exams and how the pattern the question paper pattern is for the exam and how to work for that particular for an exam for example like you have one Subject and Tandra Namge are subject ali, Yautara question yeni the subject ali. So Nim syllabus yeno, Nima syllabus solagira on the topics yeno, or topics solagira on the subtopics. Because uh, if he gives you a topic, so then what happens is that so you will get some yoga, for example, very first topic and the Tilkorana. Very first topic is say, uh, just I, I have an example stating that very first topic is my electricity, right. Just I am taking one example, random example, it is just like I am telling you, right? Okay, so if you have a topic with respect to electricity, so very first topic you have electricity in Tandre, so really you will be having 1.1 to 1.8 and there are subtopics and there, you have 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, 1.5, 1.6, 1.7, 1.8, 1.9, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, 1.15, 1.16, 1.17, 1.18, 1.19, 1.20, 1.21, 1.22, 1.23, 1.24, 1.25, 1.26, 1.27, 1.28, 1.29, 1.30, 1.31, 1.32, 1.33, 1.34, 1.35, 1.36, 1.37, 1.38, 1.39, 1.40, 1.41, 1.42, 1.43, 1.44, 1.45, 1.46, 1.47, 1.48, 1.49, 1.50, 1.51, 1.52, 1.53, 1.54, 1.55, 1.56, 1.57, 1.58, 1.59, 1.60, 1.61, 1.62, 1.63, 1.64, 1.65, 1.66, 1.67, 1.68, 1.69, 1.70, 1.71, 1.72, 1.73, 1.74, 1.75, 1.76, 1.77, 1.78, 1.79, 1.80, 1.81, 1.82, 1.83, 1.84, 1.85, 1.86, 1.87, 1.88, 1.89, 1.90, 1.91, 1.92, 1.93, 1.94, 1.95, 1.96, 1.97, 1.98, 1.99, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, 1.15, 1.16, 1.17, 1.18, 1.19, 1.20, 1.21, 1.22, 1.23, 1.24, 1.25, 1.26, 1.27, 1.28, 1.29, 1.30, 1.31, 1.32, 1.33, 1.34, 1.35, 1.36, 1.37, 1.38, 1.39, 1.40, 1.41, 1.42, 1.43, 1.44, 1.45, 1.46, 1.47, 1.48, 1.49, 1.50, 1.51, 1.52, 1.53, 1.54, 1.55, 1.56, 1.57, 1.58, 1.59, 1.60, 1.61, 1.62, 1.63, 1.64, 1.65, 1.66, 1.67, 1.68, 1.69, 1.70, 1.71, 1.72, 1.73, 1.74, 1.75, 1.76, 1.77, 1.78, 1.79, 1.80, 1.81, 1.82, 1.83, 1.84, 1.85, 1.86, 1.87, 1.88, 1.89, 1.90, 1.91, 1.92, 1.93, 1.94, 1.95, 1.96, 1.97, 1.98, 1.99, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, 1.15, 1.16, 1.17, 1.18, 1.19, 1.20, 1.21, 1.22, 1.23, 1.24, 1.25, 1.26, 1.27, 1.28, 1.29, 1.30, 1.31, 1.32, 1.33, 1.34, 1.35, 1.36, 1.37, 1.38, 1.39, 1.40, 1.41, 1.42, 1.43, 1.44, 1.45, 1.46, 1.47, 1.48, 1.49, 1.50, 1.51, 1.52, 1.53, 1.54, 1.55, 1.56, 1.57, 1.58, 1.59, 1.60, 1.61, 1.62, 1.63, 1.64, 1.65, 1.66, 1.67, 1.68, 1.69, 1.70, 1.71, 1.72, 1.73, 1.74, 1.75, 1.76, 1.77, 1.78, 1.79, 1.80, 1.81, 1.82, 1.83, 1.84, 1.85, 1.86, 1.87, 1.88, 1.89, 1.90, 1.91, 1.92, 1.93, 1.94, 1.95, 1.96, 1.97, 1.98, 1.99, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, 1.15, 1.16, 1.17, 1.18, 1.19, 1.20, 1.21, 1.22, 1.23, 1.24, 1.25, 1.26, 1.27, 1.28, 1.29, 1.30, 1.31, 1.32, 1.33, 1.34, 1.35, 1.36, 1.37, 1.38, 1.39, 1.40, 1.41, 1.42, 1.43, 1.44, 1.45, 1.46, 1.47, 1.48, 1.49, 1.50, 1.51, 1.52, 1.53, 1.54, 1.55, 1.56, 1.57, 1.58, 1.59, 1.60, 1.61, 1.62, 1.63, 1.64, 1.65, 1.66, 1.67, 1.68, 1.69, 1.70, 1.71, 1.72, 1.73, 1.74, 1.75, 1.76, 1.77, 1.78, 1.79, 1.80, 1.81, 1.82, 1.83, 1.84, 1.85, 1.86, 1.87, 1.88, 1.89, 1.90, 1.91, 1.92, 1.93, 1.94, 1.95, 1.96, 1.97, 1.98, 1.99, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, 1.15, 1.16, 1.17, 1.18, 1.19, 1.20, 1.21, 1.22, 1.23, 1.24, 1.25, 1.26, 1.27, 1.28, 1.29, 1.30, 1.31, 1.32, 1.33, 1.34, 1.35, 1.36, 1.37, 1.38, 1.39, 1.40, 1.41, 1.42, 1.43, 1.44, 1.45, 1.46, 1.47, 1.48, 1.49, 1.50, 1.51, 1.52, 1.53, 1.54, 1.55, 1.56, 1.57, 1.58, 1.59, 1.60, 1.61, 1.62, 1.63, 1.64, 1.65, 1.66, 1.67, 1.68, 1.69, 1.70, 1.71, 1.72, 1.73, 1.74, 1.75, 1.76, 1.77, 1.78, 1.79, 1.80, 1.81, 1.82, 1.83, 1.84, 1.85, 1.86, 1.87, 1.88, 1.89, 1.90, 1.91, 1.92, 1.93, 1.94, 1.95, 1.96, 1.97, 1.98, 1.99, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, 1.15, 1.16, 1.17, 1.18, 1.19, 1.20, 1.21, 1.22, 1.23, 1.24, 1.25, 1.26, 1.27, 1.28, 1.29, 1.30, 1.31, 1.32, 1.33, 1.34, 1.35, 1.36, 1.37, 1.38, 1.39, 1.40, 1.41, 1.42, 1.43, 1.44, 1.45, 1.46, 1.47, 1.48, 1.49, 1.50, 1.51, 1.52, 1.53, 1.54, 1.55, 1.56, 1.57, 1.58, 1.59, 1.60, 1.61, 1.62, 1.63, 1.64, 1.65, 1.66, 1.67, 1.68, 1.69, 1.70, 1.71, 1.72, 1.73, 1.74, 1.75, 1.76, 1.77, 1.78, 1.79, 1.80, 1.81, 1.82, 1.83, 1.84, 1.85, 1.86, 1.87, 1.88, 1.89, 1.90, 1.91, 1.92, 1.93, 1.94, 1.95, 1.96, 1.97, 1.98, 1.99, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, 1.15, 1.16, 1.17, 1.18, 1.19, 1.20, 1.21, 1.22, 1.23, 1.24, 1.25, 1.26, 1.27, 1.28, 1.29, 1.30, 1.31, 1.32, 1.33, 1.34, 1.35, 1.36, 1.37, 1.38, 1.39, 1.40, 1.41, 1.42, 1.43, 1.44, 1.45, 1.46, 1.47, 1.48, 1.49, 1.50, 1.51, 1.52, 1.53, 1.54, 1.55, 1.56, 1.57, 1.58, 1.59, 1.60, 1.61, 1.62, 1.63, 1.64, 1.65, 1.66, 1.67, 1.68, 1.69, 1.70, 1.71, 1.72, 1.73, 1.74, 1.75, 1.76, 1.77, 1.78, 1.79, 1.80, 1.81, 1.82, 1.83, 1.84, 1.85, 1.86, 1.87, 1.88, 1.89, 1.90, 1.91, 1.92, 1.93, 1.94, 1.95, 1.96, 1.97, 1.98, 1.99, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, 1.15, 1.16, 1.17, 1.18, 1.19, 1.20, 1.21, 1.22, 1.23, 1.24, 1.25, 1.26, 1.27, 1.28, 1.29, 1.30, 1.31, 1.32, 1.33, 1.34, 1.35, 1.36, 1.37, 1.38, 1.39, 1.40, 1.41, 1.42, 1.43, 1.44, 1.45, 1.46, 1.47, 1.48, 1.49, 1.50, 1.51, 1.52, 1.53, 
yes and now let me start with this particular problem so network theory uh, so in this particular uh, mod uh, topic that is network theorem so whatever the questions we do try to work more and more questions on that right or you know you can understand how it has been working on right how superposition theorem works it is like you're supposed to keep one source is acting alone and you're supposed to make all the other sources either open circuited or short circuited right according to the given right if it is an voltage it is a short circuit and if it's a current it is an open circuited right that you all know okay so it is like heng andra one the source then you have it fully in the old era source now open circuit at the short circuit matter according to the given what according to the given a uh, question right according to the given question and according to the given source either it's a voltage source or a current source depending on that you're supposed to solve that okay so like that you're supposed to do and you after you keep one source <coughs> after you keep one source as it is and then one source na hage it to you know in a more nalak sources to now <coughs> I'm sorry. In a more nalak sources to now uh, either open circuit or short circuit mark that then you get one circuit for that right you will get a simplified circuit after you get a simplified circuit what you supposed to do ni ven martira andre so niva circuit ta nodkondu you have to see whether you are supposed to apply voltage divider rule or whether you are supposed to apply current divider rule or whether you can apply i is equal to v by r or v is equal to i r or whether you are supposed to supply mesh anal mesh analysis supposed to apply mesh analysis so all these you are supposed to see so nimge diagram nodaga yavudu best suited anta gottagutte ee i dralli aitha ee i dane samane apply maadu anta na nodidini nodal analysis So I haven't seen anywhere here. So I guess mesh analysis is the easier one because nodal analysis ko nimke square diagram node daga. So if we try to see this diagram, just a minute, I'll just push it up. Yeah. <coughs> so see, this is what is one diagram using nodal analysis, correct? Ah. So new either a diagram na new mesh alone solve mad bodo. So I can just have one mesh, two mesh. Three mesh, right? You will now mesh and the constant model mark both do node and the constant model mark both do mesh analysis of borrow diagram could a node analysis could be a the mesh analysis only is there a diagram you saw my dear it is there a diagram in the node alone but at the but you have to take in terms of nodal analysis alwa so nodal analysis is eliminated over here and the best possible ways that you can solve is uh, so that is your current divider voltage divider rule uh, your current uh, and um, current equation that's i is equal to v by r or v is equal to i r and your mesh analysis so ishtanu itkonu new work maartira right yes so this are this is somewhat easier so please do try to understand things in a better manner so ni vishnu nartha maarkondre thumba easy agutte so nimge en gothirbeku so ni superposition theorem process en maartira anta adu ashtu gothad mele nivu प्रोसुपोजिशन थियरम सिंप्लीफिकेशन मेले सो नि सर्क्यूट सर मेले ये रूल अल्लाई साध्यते हैं वोलटेज डिवैडर रूल करे डिवैडर रूल वोलटेज करे मत वोलटेज करे इक्वेशन मत नि मेश अनालिस इन निम्हे रूल अंत चांस सो नहीं अर्थम मत अल्लाई रिसलट बर्सी दू हू आड टोटल At the total voltage or current according to the given question, right? If you try to understand this much, then you can solve any problem given to you based on super no superposition theorem, right? Yes. So that is why I always try to repeat the procedure and I try to start the problem because you get to know things in a better manner, right? Yeah. So let me um what I can say clear this canvas and I'll just go back to just a minute. Yeah. So once again, I'll just take with the question. So see the question is. Find the voltage Vx using superposition theorem. This is Vx that is present below 20 ohm, and you are supposed to work on that, right? Yeah. So then let me uh, start with what I can say the question. So I'll just clear the canvas so that I can easily. Okay. Yeah. So now let me start with the question. Just a minute. So now let me start with a particular superposition theorem question. So my question is stating that. So what is my question is stating that? So my question is stating that. So I have to find out the voltage Vx using superposition theorem. So let me write the diagram. 
just a minute uh, give me some time i have to finish the diagram fine yes so here it is not that you are supposed to just blindly solve the question right many people try to blindly solve the question without seeing anything inside the question right so please don't do that read the question find out where is vx or ix that has been given to you in the question and please do try to uh, find out that and please do try to solve that without fail right yeah so that is why many a people in my shop a uh, uh, loop analysis or what i can say nodal analysis in those both question so many a people they don't even look at <coughs> i'm sorry they don't even look that look at what is present in the question and what is inside the uh, given diagram right so new diagram no no sati nodala ni ven matra sune blind agi solve madak hogtira so this is a give question given on mesh analysis let me try using my kvl anta what you will do you, you will just Uh, simply try to solve it, right? But there are many small, small things that is inside the question wherein you are supposed to understand. If you don't understand those small, small things which is present within the question, then you can't even <coughs> solve the question, right? Why? Because those small, small things will make lots and lots of different for your difference for your KVL and KCL, right? Sometimes the current might be given in K KVL. Or what I can say, sometimes some some small small things will be there inside the question. So you're supposed to look at that. So if you try to look at that only, you will get to know things, how to solve that particular question, and then you can start solving, right? Yes. That is why please do look at all those. If you have any diagram, please do scan the diagram first before doing because it is not just the question. You should also scan the diagram. According to the diagram, you are going to work. He's asking you to find out something in the question. I know that. But according to the diagram, if you check it out, so I'll get to know some important hints where you can try to solve. You can try to solve the diagram to get the required what is being given in the question, right? So please do look at all the diagram clearly and properly without fail. I'm telling you all this is because for your benefit because many people don't look at that. So please do look at the diagram. Please do look at the question and try to practice it in a clean manner. It is not only for this particular for each and every problematic subject. I'm telling you. Please do scan the question in a clean manner. If any diagram is given, please do scan the diagram in a clean manner and please do try to solve it without fail. Right? Yes. And yeah, so here you can see it is. Yeah, and here you can see that it is 10 volt, right? Yeah. So this is 10. Here it is my 10 volt. Just a minute, I'll just write it. Yeah, I'm so sorry. and one more thing i'll tell you here if you are supposed to apply kcvl right if you are supposed to apply kvl so that is your mesh analysis so you should make sure that you are supposed to not to do the a kramer's rule right new kramer's rule maada kogbedi mesh analysis in the equation bandide anta andre kramer's rule alle maadadik hogbedi direct a calculator al maadi result haaki because a kramer's rule is not of that uh, importance in this particular right new mesh analysis problem is separate of maaduvaga kramer's rule maadle bekagutte but if you try to but if you try to what i can say um Uh, yeah if you try to what i can say do with superposition theorem so you need not to do any kramer's rule right in the scheme of evaluation so scheme of evaluation alli en aagta ide antandre nimma en antare nodal analysis band bitu i have the scheme of evaluation i'll just showcase you when i'm free okay so scheme of evaluation prakar artha mesh analysis ke avaru direct aagi equation matte result na bardidare but nimge en aagta ide andre nu kramer's rule madodrinda innu salpa use agutte like 
like if you directly construct an equation and do the uh, give the resultant he will give you less marks less marks in the sense so nimge one question ge more weightage iddaga so nimge aa question weightage mele new work out madak start maadi so if the question is only asked for 6 marks don't try to write the kramer's rule if the question is asked for more than 6 try to write kramer's rule because avaga kramer's rule ko nimge marks agutte so that is why try to do that okay yes and uh, for your uh, complex questions your kramer's rule is mandatory because you don't have any other go to solve in the calculator and are supposed to do the kramer's rule for sure so please do practice kramer's rule without fail right yeah and here is my 1.5 ampere okay and i'm telling you all this for each and every classes because you have to understand these things right and after finishing this particular module what i am supposed to do is i'll finish the third module with respect to controls right i have done till uh, which one i have done till what i can say my uh, this one a uh, state diagram right a uh, state uh, uh, space analysis have not state space i have done till uh, this one uh, mass and scale formula so i have to do the problems there i have to explain still the mass and scale formula we have not come to mass and scale formula yet so that is why we are going to do that and we will finish it off that so that we will finish with two models with respect to circuit and controls right after we finish two models with respect to circuits and controls i am going to tell you how the questions are coming once again and i am going to tell you how to gain uh, 40 marks from these two modules right then let us come to the other module from controls itself let's now go to circuits because uh, in the controls the second um, i guess the fourth module is quite easy so we'll just do with respect to that and then later on you're supposed to what then later on we are supposed to have another model from circuit and control let us see i'm not going in an order because i want to make you I want to make you gain confidence in the exam. So, if you want to get confidence in this particular subject, then you should not go in an order. You should see which module is easier first and which module is more moderate and which module is difficult. First, we are supposed to finish all the easiest modules and we will make sure that we can get good marks from all those easiest modules. Because you are difficult to Difficult to get easy 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 to So first to get easy to get easy to get So easiest to model easy to get easy to easy to get easy to get easy to get easy to get easy That is what you are supposed to do each and every subject which you see. Right? So if you get easy to easiest to get easy to get marks to get easy to get easy to get easy to Yes. Okay. So now we finish the diagram. So I guess by writing the diagram we learn few important things. So let me start. So here you can see that there are three sources for me. One is 10 volt, one is 3 ampere, one is 10 volt once again and the 16, I'm sorry, this is 16. Uh, there are four sources, this is 16. Okay. This is 16 volt student, this is 10 volt and this is 1.5 ampere and this is 3 ampere. So how many times I have to do the uh, um, this one? Four times I have to do. Why four times I have to do is because I need to what I need to apply what so I need to apply what I can say the superposition theorem for four times because I need to keep there are four sources and I have to keep each and every sources what I can say in a uh, each and every sources acting alone and then I have to make all the other sources as either your what I can say independent this one which one um I'm sorry yeah. Uh, I have to keep it as a open circuited or short circuited. Okay. Yeah. So let me start with 16 volt itself directly. So I'll keep 16 volt as acting alone. So if I keep 16 volt as acting alone, what is that going to happen for my diagram is that I guess you saw this diagram, right? So I'll make a simplification within this diagram itself, right? Let us not write another diagram. So I'll what I'll do is I'll just have an eraser and I'll just erase this and I'll just make it as open circuit. Why? That was my 3 ampere circuit. I guess you saw that is my 3 ampere circuit. And according to my 3 ampere circuit, it is an open circuit because it is a current source. As we have already discussed that if it is a current source, then we are supposed to what? Then we are supposed to make it as open circuited. And I have made my 3 ampere as open circuited. Right? You can see that my 3 ampere is open circuit. Correct? Yes. So now next what I am supposed to do? I have my 10 volt. Right? What is my 10 volt? My 10 volt is a short circuit. So I'll just uh, extend the line here. 
Fine? Yeah. Just a minute. I guess there is no connection between the two lines. I will just rewrite this line again. Fine? Okay. So now I have an other one say 1.5 ampere. So what's my 1.5 ampere students? So my 1.5 ampere is once again an open circuit. Right? So I will make this. I am sorry. Yeah. So I will make this as my open circuit. Right? So this is what is my open circuit. So now this is what is the diagram I got. Right? So according to this diagram, so what I am supposed to do, you can see this diagram by the way, right? So here there is an voltage source say Vx and let me take that as Vx1, right? Vx1 and we, we are supposed to take it as Vx1. So now we inhale it then in here, I am sorry, uh, what did I tell to you all? So I told to you all that, so if you are finding the voltage source Vx, or Ix, so it's supposed to have the summation of that voltages. And the voltage is uh, summation na tokoli anta. So, the first one Vx1 tokota jini. Mathe I'll take Vx2, I'll take Vx3, I'll take Vx4 and I'll add all the things together. Right? It is a sum, algebraic sum of all the individuals that is voltages or current that has produced due to the independent sources acting along. Right? So, that is what I told you. So, now this is first first voltage that is what is my Vx1. Right? I guess you got it. Right? So, now the voltage bundle. It's an algebraic sum of all the voltages, all the initial voltages that is acting in a circuit which is due to what I can say which is due to what? So, it is due to each independent sources that is acting along. Right? Yes. So, now my Vx1 is equal to. So, I want to find my Vx1. So, for my Vx1, what is my Vx1? My Vx1 is equal to I into R, right? I into R. So now I don't know my I. So I have to find out my I. So what is my I students? My I is equal to V by R, right? Here there is no, uh, make, no, you should not make use of any current divider rule or voltage divider rule. Here I is equal to V by R is only coming into existence because see, this is open circuit. Here is, this is open circuit. See, I am rounding off in black color. So, this is one open circuit and this is one open circuit. So, whatever I have rounded in black color, they are all my open circuits. And here you can see that this is 16 volt. I will showcase you. So, it is my, I am using my hand or black or more. Both comes into picture. You can see this. So, E16 volt, mate E20 ohm, mate E80 ohm. All the series are there. If you consider this as a single box, you can say that the 16 volt, 20 ohm and 80 ohm all are together in series. They are not divided, right? Because this is open circuit. So, it open circuit in the So, if I eliminate these open circuits, then I will get only one square box having my 16 volt, 20 ohm and 80 ohm like this. Right? So, if I eliminate my open circuit and open circuit na eliminate my bit, right? So, what I will get? I will get like this. So, this is my 16 ohm. I am just writing for off sketch. So, 16, 20, Matte 80 and the nanuk birthday. Correct? I will get like this, right? If I eliminate my open circuit, I will just get like this. So, that is why I can easily apply I is equal to V by R. So, if I try to apply I is equal to V by R, I get it as what I can say. What is my V? My V is 16 divided by how much 20 plus 80 or 80 plus 20? It's according to you because if you add anything, you will get the same result. Addition and sub addition and multiplication provides you the same result, but Division and subtraction provides you the different result. So, 20 by 80 and the bare 80 by 20 and the bare 20 minus 80 will be the different, 80 minus 20 will be the different. But in the case of addition and multiplication, it is not right. Yeah. So, now if I try to divide this, I will be getting my resultant i as. So, what is my resultant i? My resultant i, which is, is equal to 0 0.16 ampere, right? Yeah. So, please do substitute in the calculator. So, we will get 0 0.16 ampere. Right? Yesterday only I clarified you about this because these things if I try to do. I will tell you that I will So, I will get time to elaborate. I will get time to mathematics. I will calculations. I will get time to elaborate. Time to elaborate is not better. So, I will get one hour in the video not thira illa. So evaga for example one video na new new one video. For example, if a caro brun in a cave in a ten minutes or cult call in the one video madadra. Any visa give not thira 
ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಏನ್ ಅನ್ಸುತ್ತೆ ವಿತ್ ಇನ್ ಲೆಸ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಸೊ ನಾನು ಕಮ್ಮಿ ಟೈಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಾನು ಒಂದು ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಕಲಿತಾ ಇದೀನಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ನಿಮ್ಗೂ ಥಾಟ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಒಂದು ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಮಿನಿಟ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡರಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಟೈಮಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಟು ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಮಿನಿಟ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಬೀನ್ ಡಿಸೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಐ ನೋ ದಟ್ ಬಟ್ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಅಕಸ್ಮಾತ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಗದೆ ಇರೋದು ನೀವು ಬೇರೆ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡಕ್ ಬರ್ತೀನಿ ಅಂದಾಗ ಸೊ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಅಕಸ್ಮಾತ್ ಆ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ತುಂಬಾ ಕಮ್ಮಿ ಟೈಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾರೊಬ್ರು ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಡ್ತಾರೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ವಾಚ್ ದಟ್ ವಿತೌಟ್ ಫೇಲ್ ರೈಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಟೈಮ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಲೆಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಯು ಲರ್ನ್ ದ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಕ್ಲೀನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ನೀಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾನರ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾನು ಸಣ್ಣ ಸಣ್ಣ ಮ್ಯಾಥಮೆಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನು ನೀವು ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ವರ್ಕ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಸೊ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಏಟಿ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟೀನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅ ಬಿಗ್ ಡೀಲ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾನು ಸಣ್ಣ ಸಣ್ಣ ಮ್ಯಾಥಮೆಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನು ನೀವು ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾಡಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ನಾನು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಟೈಮ್ ಅನ್ನ ಕಮ್ಮಿ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ನಾನು ಟೈಮ್ ಎಲ್ಲೂ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ತಗೋತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಓಕೆ ನಾನು ಟೈಮ್ ಅಕಸ್ಮಾತ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ತಗೊಂಡಿದ್ರು ಕೆಲವೊಂದು ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ವಿಷಯಗಳು ಹೇಳಿರ್ತೀನಿ ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಯಾರೋ ಹೊಸದಾಗಿ ಇದೇ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಅಂತ ನೋಡುವಾಗ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗ್ಲಿ ವಿಷಯ ಅಂತ ನಾನು ಕೆಲವೊಂದನ್ನ ಮತ್ತೆ ರಿಪೀಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಬಿಟ್ರೆ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ವೇಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ ಮ್ಯಾಥಮೆಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ನಾನು ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಏನಿದೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಐ ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಐ ಮೇಕ್ ಶೋರ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಲರ್ನ್ ಅ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಕ್ಲೀನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ನೀಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾನರ್ ವಿತ್ ವೆರಿ ಲೆಸ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಫೈನ್ ಓಕೆ ಯಾ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ ಮೀ ಟೇಕ್ ಮೈ ವಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ವಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಐ ಇಂಟು ಆರ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಇಂಟು ಆರ್ ಐ ಇಸ್ ಬಾಟ್ ಜೀರೋ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಒನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆಂಪಿಯರ್ ಇಂಟು ಹೌ ಮಚ್ ಇಂಟು ಎ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೈ ಆರ್ ಮೈ ಆರ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಮೈ ಆರ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೇ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಯಾ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ರೈಟ್ ಆರ್ ಎಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಆರ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೇ ಇಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಐ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಕೇರ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಐನ ಏನಕ್ಕೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ವಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಇರೋದೇ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಕೆಳಗೆ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಇಲ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಐ ರೈಟ್ ಐ ಗೆಸ್ ಯು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟೂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಐಮ್ ಟ್ರೈಂಗ್ ಟು ಟೆಲ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಏನು ನಮ್ಗೆ ವಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಇರೋದು ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಂದ ಡೌನ್ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಓಮ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಐ ಎಮ್ ರೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಐ ರೈಟ್ ಯಾ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಐ ವಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಸೊ ಐಮ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ದ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟಾಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಐಮ್ ಸಾರಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಜೀರೋ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಒನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇಂಟು ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಐಮ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ದ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟಾಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ತ್ರೀ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಮೈ ವಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಟು ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಸೊ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ನಾವು ಸೊ ಇಲ್ ರೀ ರೈಟ್ ದ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ನಾವು ವಾಟ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಒನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಮೈ ತ್ರೀ ಆಂಪಿಯರ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ಯಾ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಅ ಮಿನಿಟ್ ಐಲ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ರೀ ರೈಟ್ ದ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಐಲ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಯು ಫೈನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಮೈ ಒನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಆಂಪಿಯರ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೇ ಮೈ ಹಿಯರ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಮೈ ಹೌ ಮಚ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಮೈ
how much 3a uh, source is acting alone or when you are 1.5 ampere source is acting alone or when you are 20 volt source is acting alone and they are supposed to keep it right yes so now let me come to the next one so to the next one so if i keep my 10 volt source acting alone right yeah first let me finish off all the voltages so let me keep all the voltages as acting alone and then let me come to what then let me come to what i can say the uh, current right so i'll keep this 10 volt sources acting alone so if i keep this 10 volt sources acting alone then what is that going to happen is that so i will be having my these two are open circuit and this is my short circuit right so let me erase this so i'll have my short circuit here yeah okay so this is my short circuit and uh, yeah here is my open circuit once again so yeah open circuit and once again here is my open circuit right yeah. okay uh, here is my open circuit once again so now what's that going to happen now you look at the diagram properly student so when you look at this diagram after the simplification when you try to look at the diagram so you can easily identify what i have to apply whether i have to apply my kcl or kbl i'm sorry whether i have to apply my kbl or whether i have to apply my current voltage divider rule as well as my current and voltage equation right so if i try to see that so i would be getting my result and see according to this so here also is supposed to apply what here also is supposed to apply the i is equal to v by r itself right because if i eliminate two open circuit so here it open circuit and then eliminate one other matte nanage you will get 20 ohm this is my 20 ohm 10 volt and my 80 ohm is acting in series right they are acting in series so therefore that is why you are supposed to find out i is equal to v by r right so before that let me write when my 10 volt source is acting alone so my here my 10 volt source is acting alone i guess you can see it was the same diagram nimge last heng bandittu ade tara diagram bandide but short circuit illi bandide ashte namge short circuit ee line alli ittu nan elli line hakidinalla black color alli short circuit ittu ivaga illi bandide short circuit ashte nothing else the short circuit has been place has been shifted but you are getting the same diagram having a 20 10 and 18 series right so i'll write it as when my 10 volt source is acting alone just a minute yeah when my 10 volt source is acting alone When the 10 volt source is acting alone, so and then what's that going to happen? So what's that going to happen is that you're supposed to write I is equal to V by R. So that is what is my V here? My V here is 10 that is into 10 that is 10 divided by 20 plus 80, right? It was 80 plus 20 but here it is 20 plus 80, right? Because first my 20 comes into existence then 80, right? Yeah. So if I try to like this, I'm going to get the same result in which resultant i am going to get the resultant as 0 0.16 right yeah so 0 0.16 i am supposed to get right yeah and now what i can say that so i need to find out now my vx2 it is not vx1 so when my uh, 10 volt when my uh, 16 volt source is acting alone my vx uh, uh, my uh, v, i have to find out vx1 right my voltage is vx1 and the 16 volt source alone act maduvaga so nana voltage bandu vx1 so when my 10 volt source is acting alone my voltage source is vx2 correct yeah so now vx2 is equal to so vx2 is equal to what so vx2 is equal to what i can say that is minus 20 into 0 0.1 right yeah it is minus 20 into 0 0.1 wherein you are supposed to get it as minus 2 volt right so you got vx2 now yes yes so now let me redraw the diagram again so that you will get to know things so now next which one i have to keep it um, as it is i'll just uh, rewrite the diagram yeah yeah 
for just a minute. I'll just take half a this thing, fine. Yeah, here. This is 16, right? Yes. So now here we just completed the diagram and we are here to find out the next one that is Vx3, right? How to find out my Vx3? I have to make an one more source acting alone. So which one? So let me start with the current and I will keep my 3 volt sources only. A uh, 3 volt sources, 3 ampere sources acting alone. I am so sorry. When my 3 ampere sources acting alone, you have 16 volt source na alone get kondu vi. Bere dala open and short circuit maadu di. Mathe 10 volt source no haa get kondu. Bere dala open and short circuit maadu di vi. Ega we are trying to keep your 3 ampere is acting alone. When only my 3 ampere sources acting alone. So what is that going to happen is that this will become a short circuit. So this will become my short circuit and this will become my open circuit, right? Yeah. Yeah, so this is you get it as what I can say. So this is you get it as my uh, the circuit, right? Now when my three ampere source is acting alone, so what I can say you are supposed to get this resulted, right? Yeah, so then now you are supposed to solve this again. So when you try to solve this again, this circuit is looking like a current divider rule circuit, right? If it is looking like a current divider rule circuit, so let us solve according to that. So what is my current divider rule? Before that I have to write. When my, when my how much that is 3A sources acting alone. So 3 ampere sources acting alone. Right? Yeah. Just a minute. I'll just write it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So acting alone. So then what I am supposed to write? I am supposed to write my current divider rule that is psi is equal to what I can say that is my 3 ampere. This is my current say 3 ampere. It is into what I can say which one? It is into that is your R2 resistance that is 80 divided by R1 plus R2 that is 20 plus 80. Right. So this is what is your resultant right so i'll just showcase to you again come uh, i'll come back to this so what is my current divider rule? i is equal to that is the given current i is so this current the in into that is r2 divided by r1 plus r2 so this is current given so that is 3 into this 80 that is r2 that is divided by this r1 that is 20 plus this 80 right this 3 into that is 80. This is R2 divided by this 20 R1 plus this 80. Right? Yes. So now let me try to solve with respect to this. So um, yeah. 
what i'll get the resultant i'll get the resultant as my what my resultant will be is equal to try to solve it on the calculator so resultant will be 2.4 ampere right yeah 2.4 ampere just a minute yeah so now here so i'm supposed to now find vx vx3 here right so i'll just change it so vx3 we are supposed to find out now i already told you they are supposed to find out vx3 so let me change here to vx3 vx3 right now at the last we are supposed to find vx4 so when you keep each and every independent source as it is and keep it so one independent source then you have it kondo miki then lano ni wo wo short circuit at open circuit maati raan tanda ga so ni inge voltage is change akta ho gute so first ni wo one source na hangi it konda ga adu vx1 voltage agate you second source na hangi independent agate konda ga vx2 agate wakana 3 ampere na hangi it dini so it is my vx3 voltage right when you have any one volt independent sources acting alone so then your voltages will be 1 to 1 and respect to let's say division of voltages right yeah so if you can say that you want the resistance that resistance you know so total resistance is equal to sum of all the resistance anta helalva hange illi total voltage is equal to sum of all the voltages when you have your any independent source acting alone right yeah so now let me start again so i'll have my vx3 so if i try to find out my vx3 so i will be getting as my what vx according to vx3 it is minus 20 divided by minus 20 into 2.4 ampere so which i am going to get the resultant as what so which i am where i am going to get the resultant that is is equal to so that is minus 48 volt right yeah this minus 48 volt right yes so now here you can see that so yes so now here uh, i can uh, see that so that is is equal to just a minute yeah uh, so vx4 we are supposed to find out now so for vx4 we are supposed to keep 1.5 ampere as acting alone the last one right yeah yeah so here if i am trying to keep my 1.5 uh, ampere source is acting alone so 1.5 was here so i'll just write 1.5 ampere over here so it was here right student so you know the diagram so i am writing it from three uh, this things right yeah so this is 1.5 ampere is acting alone so then what's that going to happen is here it will become short circuited 3 ampere and here it was my 10 volt which was which will become short circuited here 10 volt here and i'm sorry and here as my i'm showcasing is my pencil pencil the one the sun dot is yellow then i got that then i'm going to put it so here it is my 10 volt that is acting along uh, 10 volt that will become short circuit and here it is my how much that is my uh, 16 volt which is getting short circuited so now what's that going to happen for this diagram as you can see that my i is equal to 0 why my i is equal to 0 because as there is a short circuit that is across 1.5 ampere so my i becomes equal to 0 so as there is this is a short circuit across this 1.5 ampere so my i completely becomes equal to 0 so my vs4 become vx4 becomes equal to 0 so this is my vx4 which is becoming equal to how much is becoming equal to 0 right yes so it's becoming equal to 0 and now what i'm supposed to do is that so i'll just write that so i guess you understood so here there is a short circuit students and here there is a 1.5 ampere circuit so as there is a short circuit across 1.5 ampere circuit i say that you're having a uh, what i can say the other one that is the uh, i is equal to 0 where my vx4 is also equal to 0 right yeah so let me write that So I've already written the other part. So here I'll write it as my Vx 
4 is equal to i is equal to 0 vx4 is equal to 0 so now i have to uh, add all those right i have to add the sum of all the voltages so my total voltage vx is equal to what my total voltage vx is equal to vx1 plus vx2 plus vx3 plus vx4 right yeah so now if i try to add all those so what is my vx1 my vx1 is equal to 3.2 and my vx2 is equal to how much vx2 is equal to minus 2 i'm sorry vx2 is equal to minus 2, vx3 is equal to minus 48 and vx4 is equal to 0, right, yeah. So now if I try to calculate all this in the calculator, I get the resultant as how much? I get my resultant as 46.8 volt. So this is what is my voltage across what I can say the, how much? That is the 20 ohm. Right, voltage across 20 ohm by using superposition theorem. So we can also find out the voltage across 20 ohm using your KCL, KVL, and you can also find out right KCL alone, you know, KVL alone, you know, So he has asked you to suppose to find out the voltage across that by using your um, uh, mesh analysis or nodal analysis and the KLD there. But one more method you can use is superposition theorem also, right? You have seen find the current I using mesh analysis, find the current I using nodal analysis and the KLD there in Galba. He has asked you to find out using both the methodology. But one more methodology that is coming into existence is your superposition theorem, wherein you keep one source as it is and will make all the other sources to here what I can say the uh, open source, open circuit or short circuit, and then you are supposed to what I can say, uh, apply either voltage or current equation that is is equal to IR or I is equal to V by R that is your current divider rule or voltage divider rule and then you are supposed to apply which one? You are supposed to apply the what I can say uh, the uh, mesh analysis, right? So this is what I was about to tell you. So we have solved one examination problem itself. So why we are trying to solve this itself is because you want the exam problem to solve madad, right? So, because the process will remain the same here, right? So, this process will change. Now, we will change the change. Now, one voltage source or current source is not going to be independent. Now, we did, with, we did uh, as, as a short circuit or an open circuit. I am sorry. Short circuit or open circuit. Na maad bhi alba. So, our process is not going to change. It 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 is not going to change. short circuit not going to change. It is not going to change. So, you have to apply this circuit for this circuit and you have to apply this circuit for this circuit. So, you have to apply this circuit for this circuit. So, you have to apply this circuit for this circuit. So, you have to apply this circuit for this mesh analysis. So, I am going to apply this circuit for this circuit. I is equal to V by R. So, I am going to apply this circuit. But the inner cane is the current divider rule. So, you have to apply this circuit. So, you have to apply this diagram for this circuit. So, you have to apply this diagram for this circuit. So, you have to... हेंगे इंद्रे ना ना इतना वन निम्स तल हेल्प करते नहीं जस्ट अमिने टेल जस्ट टीच यू सो या या सो ये नों तंदरे निमा करेंट डिवाइडर रूल ही के सो ये किधे निमा करेंट डिवाइडर रूल के इन तंदरे सो दैट शुड बी अ टू वोल्टेज सोर्स इन पैरेलल आई एम सॉरी टू रेसिस्टेंस इन पैरेलल एंड निम्गे ये इंद्र � so, you have a current source. So, you have a current divider rule that has a diagram for the voltage divider rule that has a diagram for the voltage divider rule. So, the current divider rule means the voltage divider rule that has a current 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 divider rule. So, there are some certain circuit with respect to current divider rule, right? So, that is why you are supposed to follow that circuit, right? So, you have to follow that circuit, you are supposed to work it out without fail. Right, you have a current divider rule and then you have a current divider rule. What is it? So, you have a current divider rule and then you have a current divider rule. So, you have a diagram called the current divider rule. The diagram is the plus formula. Right? In that particular, I am going to see that one do current again will be having two resistors in parallel. Right? Yeah. 
that is what you are supposed to so that is what you are supposed to see that right so ni vatare diagram nodaga so ee tar ero diagram ge na current divider ulna apply madbeku ee tar ero diagram ge nan voltage divider circuit na apply madbeku rule na apply madbeku anta ni kalthukondre so i can easily do it without tell because voltage andre eno i'm sorry kvl andre eno it's like you will having a mesh and you are supposed to apply that but current and voltage divider rule ge how the circuit comes into picture you are supposed to understand so he'll tell you for this kind of circuit only you are supposed to apply current divider rule so adunu neevu tilkolli so that it will be easier for you to solve superposition theorem if anybody is struggling hard to learn this so neevu aa tarano tilkolli so nimge ee tara see ivaga na simplify madidivi now 1.5 ampere na hage ittkondu मिदने ओपन अथवा शार्ट सर्क्यूट मी मेले नम्बर सर्क्यूट बंद करेक्ट सो सर्क्यूट ना नोड़ा निर् अल्ले गोतर सो नहीं वोलटेज डिवैडर रूल मत करे डिवैडर रूल यहाँ सर्क्यूट है नोडी सो यहाँ सर्क्यूट के वोलटेज डिवैडर रूल मत करे डिवैडर रूल हाँ अर्थमी सो आव इर्क्यूट नोड़ तक निम्हे अदे तर सर्क्यूट कंट्रे अदे वोलटेज अथवा करे डिवैडर रूल अल्ले मत निवल टू वि बै आर अल्ले okay you will get to know that all the things are in series right yeah all the things are in series so you are supposed to understand that series andre yenagutte andre nimma current to matte ered resistance series alli idaga you are supposed to make it as i is equal to v by r right andre nimma voltage andre nimma voltage matte ered resistance series alli idre so i have already wrote the diagram right if you have any voltage in series with two of the resistance so you are supposed to find out i so therefore you are supposed to have i is equal to v by r right yes other new circuits na nodkondu workout maadi and this is what i was about to tell you students and thank you